Let's do a couple of examples to learn how to solve equations with variables on both sides, beginning with 5x plus 3 equals 10x minus 4. To solve such an equation, we need to bring all the variable terms to one side, often the left, although it doesn't actually matter, and we need to bring all the constant terms to the other side, often we move those to the right. Now in this case, on the right side, we have a variable term of 10x. So if we want to move all the variable terms to the left side, we're going to have to move this 10x. The way we can do that is by subtracting 10x. And we have to do that, of course, to both sides. Subtract 10x from the right side, and then subtract 10x from the left side as well to keep everything balanced. On the left, if we subtract 10x, 5x minus 10x is minus 5x. We, of course, still have the plus 3. And on the right, 10x minus 10x is just 0. So the only thing left on the right is minus 4. Now, we still don't have her variable by itself. On the same side as the variable, we have this plus 3 still. And we want to get rid of that. So to do that, we'll subtract 3. That's the opposite of adding 3. Subtract 3 from the left and subtract 3 from the right. Now on the left, the plus 3 and minus 3 cancel out, and we only have minus 5x. And on the right, minus 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Finally, the only thing being done to x right now is that it's getting multiplied by negative 5. So to finish solving the equation, we need to divide the left side by negative 5 and divide the right side by negative 5. On the left, the division by negative 5 will cancel out with that factor of negative 5, and so finally, we'll have x by itself. On the right, negative 7 divided by negative 5, we can simply write that as a fraction, negative 7 over negative 5. Although, since there's a negative in the top and bottom, those can cancel out and just leave us with 7 over 5. If you prefer mixed numbers, 5 goes into 7 once with 2 left over. So as a mixed number, it would be 1 and 2 fifths. Or if you're more of a decimal person, this is 1.4. Now you might want to try plugging 1.4 back in for x to see that it makes the equation true in order to verify your solution. For practice, you might also want to try solving this equation again, but instead of getting the variable on the left, try getting the variable on the right. You'll get the exact same answer, but your steps will be very slightly different. Let's do one more example together. m minus 1 equals 9m plus 15. In this case, I'll get all of our variables on the right side. So, to do that, we'll have to move this m on the left side. The opposite of adding m is to subtract m. So we'll subtract m on the left, and we'll subtract m on the right. On the left, the m and minus m cancel out, and we're just left with the negative 1. On the right, 9m minus m leaves 8m. And of course, we still have the plus 15. Now we're trying to get m by itself, so let's get rid of this plus 15 by subtracting 15. We have to do that to both sides. On the left, negative 1 minus 15 is negative 16. And on the right, now we just have 8m. Finally, to finish solving for m, we can divide both sides by 8. Because right now, m is getting multiplied by 8, so to undo that, we divide by 8. On the left, negative 16 divided by 8 is negative 2. And on the right, we've now finished solving for m. And we have that negative 2 equals m. Or, if you prefer, you could just write it the other way, m equals negative 2. Here are two more examples for you to try on your own. I'll put the solutions on screen now. And there they are. It's possible that you solve them slightly differently, but you should get the same answers. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my pre-algebra course and pre-algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.